So this is a quick tutorial on how to log into and navigate your way around the Fleetminder website. If you go to fleetminder.com.au, go to the login button. In here you enter your username and password. They are case sensitive. Once you sign in, you'll get any alerts if you're using messenger services or if you've got any devices that are coming up for expiry or have already expired, it'll notify you here. So to find your vehicles, let's go over to tracking and you have groups. And within those groups, you'll have all your vehicles. You may only have one group. You may have multiple groups depending on how it's been set up. So if you select one vehicle, I'm going to show you the last log, the time of the last log, and that's for today. It's also going to show you the satellite count, which shows you how accurate that is. Down the left-hand side, you'll notice that it's green, red, and grey. So green means that the vehicle key is on, red means the vehicle's parked, and grey means that the vehicle's idling. So if you don't like that map, you can also change it up here. You can turn labels on and off as well. You can also scroll in on the map with the scroll wheel. Or you can use these controls down here. If you want to see any of those logs in any location, just hover over the clock icon, click on that, it'll take you to that location. So if you select multiple vehicles, it'll automatically zoom the map. So we can see here, we've got one here, one here. And if we untick that one, it'll zoom to there. So all your logs here show you from midnight this particular vehicle is logging in every 30 minutes. Key goes on at 7 a.m. Key goes off 25 kilometers later at this location. If you want to see history, you do that from the activity tab. It's exactly the same, except you now get a date range. You can go back up to six months, pick any date, And that will populate the map with details from that date for that vehicle. If you go into replay a day, again, select the vehicle, select the date, and this will walk through so we can speed up or slow down, and it'll physically walk through each step. If you go to trips, Just pick today. We can now select each trip. So we're getting the start, date, time, location, end, details, distance traveled, how long it was traveling for, how long it stopped for. And drill down as well. And we can pick up speeds throughout that trip. And we can select up to five trips. The map will automatically zoom. You can resize the map here. Other features in this menu that are commonly used might be routing. And this one will allow you to optimize a trip. And you can add multiple destinations. Streaming, playback, they're used for mobile DVR units, the standard trackers don't use that feature. And ECU is your real-time ECU monitor if you're tapping into that feature. Again, doesn't suit all models, but that's reading engine data. 
So down the bottom here, we've got another menu that pops up when you hit this orange bar. So in here we've got analytics. That's where you find all your reports. And we'll do another video on how to run your reports. We've got dashboard, which gives you information on each vehicle or the fleet over a given period of time. It's in graph format. In admin, we get a whole new menu up here. A common one you'd use here is vehicle setup. So in here you can go into a vehicle and you can rename it. Just type over the top when it's expiring. Add details like mobile number, upload an image. Don't forget to hit save if you change anything. It'll also show you your time zone, which you can change in here. It's generally set at your home state. And other features, we'll go through in more detail in other videos. So in here we've got settings, default settings for your use of the maps, date formats and speeds, etc. This is where you would log out. There's also a help menu, which is the user guide. This is also a chat help menu. You can leave a message there and someone will get back to you. If you ever get stuck, just go back down here to home. One last menu up here. We've got the nearest vehicle to a vehicle or nearest vehicle to a point feature. You can change your map provider here. You can enable or disable or view your sites and geofences up here. That's a feature that we'll go into in another video. You can also select the vehicle and pull it so it'll request its location. And that's it. That's your sign out here. See our other videos for more information. Thanks.